What's going on guys, Dr. Root7 signing in back with another tutorial video. This time it's going to be about the 3DS custom firmware. On my last video, I have told you guys that I'll be showing you how to completely uninstall the custom firmware from your 3DS 2DSs, wipe off anything related to custom firmware, homebrew, apps, unsigned codes, and restore it back to factory settings like out of the box. I'm obviously following the official guide. If you want to take a look at the written instructions, I'll be posting the link in the description couple of things to keep in mind you're gonna have to follow through the steps that I'm about to show very carefully otherwise your console might get bricked so please listen carefully what I'm about to say if you have done any one of the following things then definitely you will brick your console if you try to uninstall the custom firmware by following this guide so if you have changed the region of the console or installed a custom keyboard or a custom home menu not a custom theme or manually change the encryption key of the console unbanned the console then your console will get bricked in order to avoid this you're gonna have to restore a clean NAND backup I haven't shown how to do that I did show how to create a NAND backup through God Mode 9 update video on the next video I'll be showing you guys how to jailbreak 3ds or 2ds consoles from scratch make sure that your Luma 3ds version has been updated to their latest versions because these instructions will only work on consoles with Luma 3DS versions 8.0 or higher. Anything less than that, you're gonna have to perform the update. I have a video tutorial for that as well. So a couple of things that needs to be copied and pasted. The first one is the latest release of Luma 3DS. I have a video tutorial for that. I'll be posting the link in the description followed by the latest release of God Mode 9. I'll be posting the video link in the description as well. I have a tutorial for both of these. On the God Mode 9 video, I also show how to create a NAND backup. You're also going to need the latest release of DSiWare Uninstaller, followed by the safety test.gm9. So download the latest release of DSiWare Uninstaller, insert your SD cards, look for the 3DS folder, go into the 3DS folder and paste the DSiWare Uninstaller file over there. Download the latest release of safety test.gm9. Go to the root of your SD card, look for the gm9 folder, look for the script subfolder inside the gm9 folder, paste the latest version of safety test over there. Okay, all the copying and pasting process has been completed. I'm going to show you guys the next steps on the 3DS itself. Time to perform the next steps. Please listen carefully and follow through these steps properly. Failure to do so might result in your console getting bricked. We have already updated, copied and pasted everything that are required in order to perform these steps. So first we are going to run the DS mode tests. The purpose of this test is to check whether the built-in DSi mode applications will continue to work once the custom firmware is uninstalled. If you skip this section, the DS mode or its functions may become inaccessible until the custom firmware is reinstalled. To launch the system settings, navigate to internet settings, Nintendo DS connections, click on OK. You should be on this screen with the Nintendo Wi-Fi connection set up for the DS. If you see a black screen or an error message, that means the test has failed. If you see Japanese texts, the test has failed. It should be this screen and this screen only. So once you're on this screen, there is nothing else to do, just power off your console. We're going to launch the download play application, which should be this one. Select Nintendo DS. Okay, so far so good. If you are met with this screen that says download software via DS download play, that means everything is going perfectly like how it should. If you're going to see Japanese version of flip note or a black screen or an error message, is going in the wrong direction. Just go into the link in the description. You're going to have to perform some troubleshooting steps. Everything is showing how it should. You just power off your console. Okay, so now it's time to perform the safety test. Now the purpose of this section is to verify that the console will boot and perform the critical system functions like system setting, keyboard is going to work once the custom firmware is uninstalled. If you skip this step, you may break your console and you don't want that. Let's move on with this step. Now press and hold the start button and power on your console. God Mode 9 has been activated. Now on this screen, if you're prompted to create an essential files backup, 
press A to do so, follow the on-screen instructions and complete the process. If you are prompted to fix the RTC date and time, just go ahead and follow the on-screen instructions and do so. I already performed all of these steps on my God Mode 9 update video where I show how to update and create a backup. If you had to fix the RTC date and time through God Mode 9, then you'll also have to fix the time in system settings as well after following this guide. So make sure you do so. Press on home to bring the action menu. Here we're going to go ahead and select scripts and then we're going to select safety test. Now read carefully through the on-screen text before moving on to the next steps. So it says script will temporarily boot the console stock to check if it will work properly after the custom firmware has been uninstalled. Go ahead and hit on and let it do its thing. If you are directed into the 3DS home menu, uh, disregard any custom themes. It doesn't matter. If you are met with this screen, then everything is going as how it should. If you do not boot into the regular 3DS home menu, like a black screen or error screen, uninstalling the custom firmware will definitely break your console. Everything is going smoothly. We're just going to head over to the system settings. Launch the system settings. Another side note, if the console crashes for any reason at this point after launching the system settings, that means the test has failed. We're going to head over to other settings, select profile, select username. You should be able to enter a new username. There you go. Hit on OK. Great. If you're not able to use the on-screen keyboard and were not able to change the username, the test has failed. It's time to power off our console. Okay, another important side note, if you do not boot into the regular 3DS home menu or the system settings or your keyboard, on-screen keyboard is inaccessible, just stop and follow through the troubleshooting process and fix whatever that needs to be fixed. So make sure you have created a NAND backup through God Mode 9. I'm just repeating myself because it's very, I cannot emphasize enough. It's always good to create a NAND backup. I have already showed it, videos on the description, just follow through the guide. Okay, so now it's time to remove any kind of contents that are not downloaded through eShop or Homebrew or unsigned codes or any of that sort. So we're going to remove all sorts of contents like that. So we're going to go into system settings, we're going to go into data management, we're going to go into 3DS software delete any non nintendo related contents like fbi homebrew launcher checkpoint any games that you may have downloaded through the homebrew shop delete all of these one after another so these are the homebrew apps so we're just gonna go ahead and delete all of these along with the games as well that we have download it through other means. Do the same with DSiWare as well. If you have any kind of applications or anything of that sort, after uninstalling all of the non-Nintendo related softwares, homebrew apps, exit out of system settings. All right, our screen looks half empty. Great. Now we're going to go ahead and initiate download play. On this screen, press the left shoulder and D-pad down and select at the same time. So you should be seeing the Rosalina menu. Select miscellaneous options. We're going to select switch the HB title to the current app. Press on B and then press on B to exit the menu. Go ahead and press on home and exit out of download play. After exiting relaunch download play, this is the screen that you should be seeing. The homebrew launcher screen after you relaunch download play. Now here you're going to launch DSi uninstaller. So here you just follow the on-screen instruction. Press B to continue, start to exit. Press B to continue. So once the process has been completed, exit the homebrew launcher and power off your console. Okay, so now it's time to perform a system format. So this will ensure that any tickets are removed, which will allow the eShop, the official eShop to work normally. So one side note, your console's encryption key will be shuffled, which means that any old data will be rendered inaccessible, even if you have made a backup. Okay, so we're going to do that by going into system settings, go into other settings, go to the next page until you see format system memory. Hit on format system memory and follow the on-screen instructions. Perfect, formatting has been completed. Okay, so we have performed the format process, set up the 3DS for the very first time. Now this is your final 
reminder, your opportunity to verify that all safety steps has been completed successfully before moving on to the final step all right guys so this is the final step of the uninstallation process now this is your final opportunity to verify every step has been completed successfully the ones that i've shown before moving on to this step all the safety tests has been performed successfully they have not failed you are not met with any kind of error message any kind of screen freezing any kind of black screen japanese text or any of that sort everything went as how it's shown on the video we're on god mode 9 press and hold the start button and power on your console after performing the last step which was formatting your console if by any chance you see the luma 3ds chain loader use the d-pad and a button to select god mode 9 okay we're gonna press on home to bring the action menu select scripts we're going to select gm9 script hacks options uninstall hacks it says this will completely remove CFW and revert your system to stock. Proceed anyway. Press on yes. Press on A again. It says this is your only warning. You want to enable SysNand level 3 writing permission. This enables you to overwrite your bootloader, essential system files or brick your console. To proceed, enter this on-screen instruction. The on-screen instruction is up, right, down, up, right, up, A. Press A to continue, press B to cancel, and select exit. It says write permissions were changed, re-log them. Go ahead and say yes by pressing A. Now press start to reboot your console. Amazing. So we are now done with the uninstallation process. Custom firmware has been successfully uninstalled, removed from the system. Your system is clear of any unsigned code. So one last side note, you can now remove any extra files folders from the root of your SD card that are not Nintendo 3DS, DCIM or private folders. To reinsert your SD card into your computer, anything that you see other than these three folders, Nintendo 3DS, DCIM or private, you can remove all of them safely. I have shown you guys how to uninstall your custom firmware from your 3DSs without getting your console bricked. Next video, I'll show you guys how to re-jailbreak your console. If you have a fresh out of the box 3DS or 2DS, I'm gonna show you guys how to set up your 3DSs and 2DSs with the custom firmware and the essential homebrew apps. Okay, time to wrap this video up if you found this tutorial useful make sure to drop in a like and subscribe check out my other contents join my discord if you have any other questions dr brute 7 signing off peace